Hey guys, wanted to uh, show you the second part of this brush replacement on this SPC pump. I ordered the brushes, they just came in the other day, and uh, this is what they look like. There's the new brushes. Uh, I'm hoping you can see them. There we go. And I have the old brush, one of the old brushes, the largest of the, the four old brushes underneath there. And um, you can see on here that on this brush, it's, uh, I think it's about halfway through its lifespan. Uh, there's about two thirds of this brush that would be usable, I think, before it would stop making contact and start giving problems with the motor. And out of those two thirds, uh, half of that two thirds is gone. So these new brushes, the old brushes had about half their life left. These new brushes should be um, completely full in terms of lifespan. Uh, have a complete lifespan on them. So let me show you what I'm doing here next. I've got the pump here. You remember this from the last video. I've wedged a screwdriver underneath the plastic here. And that lifts the pump up some. Get some more light on this so you can see what I did. And I've wedged it up there. And that lifts the pump up some. That lifts this base up some. So the door, a little flapper door, can go down lower. Because it hits, there's a little ridge there. You can see, and it hits that ridge if you don't lift up the base. So you have to lift that base up in order to be able to slide in the new brush. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to slide the new brush in so you guys can see me doing it here. And you just pop it in there, kind of wiggle it around, I'm trying to do this so that you can see, but it's not you have to do this by feel. So you see I just got the ver get the front of it in there. Get some more light here for you. Well, I've just got the front of it in there. I'm sorry it's kind of blurry, guys. But it shouldn't fight you too bad. You just gotta be gentle with these brushes because they could conceivably break if you were too rough with them. And then you slide it in. And it is in now. I'm sorry, this is so blurry. Let me give my camera a chance to catch up. There we go. So, brush is in there now. Now what I'm gonna do is slide it all the way in. Oh, I got another broken. See, this is why you gotta be gentle with these things. I've been messing around with them. This is the third one of these I broke. Um, show you here. I broke three of them now. There's the springs that came out. I'm not too worried about them being broken. It's just a little tiny edge there that's connected. But um, they have these hooks. You can see them on, on each end there that uh, catch in these little catches right there by the tip of that screwdriver on the right side. There's these little catches. So they're gonna catch in there and then they're gonna snap in and they should be fine. I thought about ways to try to repair them using possibly like some Gorilla Tape or some type of tape. But the edge that they connect to is so small, uh, there's really just no way to repair them if you break them. You just gotta be careful not to use lose them. And they're still reusable, guys. I think, we'll see, I hope. So you can see when I push this in here, as far as it'll go in, the um, that wire is coming out. There's a wire that runs across, um, runs across there. I'm trying to get this thing to focus better. It just does not want to. There's some light here. So there, there we go. So there's a wire that runs across and the tail of the brush comes out. 
uh, right around the same place where that wire is. And the reason you don't want this all the way to the edge, um, the reason you don't want it all the way out to this edge here is because you need to leave room for the spring to compress in. So there's these springs here I showed you before. You gotta leave room for those springs to compress. So, the next thing you wanna do is actually you're gonna wanna find a way to tuck this wire underneath because it needs to actually go underneath that wire, that, that uh, thicker wire that's running across. Um, so I'm gonna pause this for a second and do that. I'm gonna tuck that underneath, be right back. Okay guys, I'm back here. Now you can see I've got the wire now tucked underneath and basically uh, it's now underneath where that other wire is and the reason for that is is as the brush wears down it, it can't be that that tail couldn't get you know can't get hung up on the uh, the other wire above so now you should have two wires there the original wire that you cut and the new uh, wire coming off the back of the new brush uh, next thing I'm going to do is cut the wire from the new brush a good bit shorter. Um, and then I'm just going to try to sort of mesh the two ends together um, so that I can solder them. Uh, I don't think I'm going to try to twist them. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to play around with it, guys, and I'll let you know what I do that works. I'm thinking I'm just maybe going to cut it short and try to squish the two ends together. Um, and then drop a dab of solder on there and it should hold. Um, or I may try to do some sort of twisting action, but uh, I'll let you know what works. Hold on, I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, I want to show you what I ended up with here. I didn't solder this yet. Um, i trying to get some light on it here so you can see. But it came out pretty good, I think. Um, try to get my camera to focus here. Let's see. Okay, I think this is about the best we're gonna get, guys. I'm trying to zoom in here, see if that helps. I'm just not getting a great picture here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so you can see I've got the old wire that I cut originally and the new wire. And you can see it's tucked underneath. And they're kind of just squished together there to make a loop. And the next thing I'm going to do uh, is put my soldering iron in there at the bottom of that, in that loop underneath where those two join together and just drop a dab of solder on from the top. I'm going to show you about the length that I cut off here. You can see, here's the other ones that I have, and that's the piece that I cut off of the new one, so it was about half. And what I did here, when I had them, is um, I kind of just squished the ends together straight on. Let's see if I can get you better. Just literally kind of pushed them together. Like that. And then they kind of squish, they kind of, when I pressed them together and I used two tweezers, two sets of tweezers, I grabbed uh, one end with tweezers and I grabbed the other end with the tweezers and I just pushed them together with my two sets of tweezers. And, uh, when I pushed them together, they stayed. Uh, and then I came in with my um, needle nose here and I kind of just squeezed them together to make them flat because they were kind of bowing out at the sides. So I just pinched around to make it tight and they're now staying together. And that's all I really need in order to solder them. Now, when I solder these, I'm not gonna use a lot of solder, um, just a dab because the thing you gotta remember with this wire, as it sits right now, it's flexible. It's uh, copper flexible wire. Once it gets solder in it, it's no longer gonna be flexible. 
So there's going to be a spot there that is not going to have any give to it. And you don't want a bunch of that on the wire because the whole point of this wire is that it is to remain flexible. One little spot where I'm putting them together is fine, but um, you don't want a ton of that. So I'm going to do that now, guys. Uh, I'm going to give you a preview here of what I plan to do. But I'm going to get my soldering iron in there underneath, get it hot from underneath there. And then I'm going to come in from the top with the solder. And I'm hoping that will just drip down onto it. Uh, I'm not going to be, I don't have enough hands to do this while you guys are watching, but uh, I'll let you know how it goes. I'll be back shortly. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've got it soldered. Uh, it's a little tricky. It moved on me once. I had to put it back again. It's not pretty, but it will get the job done. The two pieces are connected. As you can see, the solder is right where the uh, color of the wires change because they're slightly different uh, coloring. Um, I want to show you here. Uh, I made sure they were connected. If you move them, or if I pull on them, both wires move. Um, I also got a dab of solder onto the copper wire below, but I made sure that it's not attached to anything else, so it's fine. So the solder itself didn't attach to anything else, and then what I'm going to do now is push these back um, into the unit towards the middle uh, where they were. I have everything pulled out right now uh, because I needed it out to solder. So I'm going to pause again and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, I'm back guys. I got the wiring cleaned up a little more. So you can see that the copper wire is uh, kind of pushed back so it's not going to touch anything else. Um, and that should be it. Uh, now I'm going to pop the spring in behind it. I'm going to pause again to sh while I do that. 